Assembly is the closest possible language to writing machine code. Using this means you're either a genius or someone who loves to feel pain. Technically a command line language, Bash allows you to take control and make use of your operating system services. Over 50 years old but still reliable, C is largely used for systems development and is the backbone of many other programming languages we use today. C++ is C but with two editions. The first plus represents the addition of classes, and the second plus represents the addition of even more ways to break your computer. C and C++'s weird cousin, C Sharp is used almost entirely for the .NET framework and making video games. Oh, I can already see the comments for this one. CSS is a style sheet language, technically not a programming language, but I'm still including it, that allows you to make web pages look better. Built by Google in 2011, Dart is used to make applications on any platform, alongside its development kit, Flutter. Go is a modern language built by Google, intended to be an improvement to C++, and has by far the derpiest mascot of any language. Here we go again. HTML is a markup language that creates the building blocks of every single website on the internet. Java is a very popular high-level language that exists in the code bases of almost every major company. JavaScript is completely unrelated to Java and runs in the web browser and makes website magic happen. Oh, also it's both the most popular and the most hated language at the same time. Kotlin was designed to be a Java 2.0 as it aims to improve all the pain points of Java and is the language of choice for Android development. MATLAB is a math-based programming language designed to work with complex math and statistics. Basically, if a calculator and a programming language had a child, this would be it. Objective-C is another quirky sibling of C and is used for Mac OS X and iOS programming, although it is being replaced by the newer language, Swift. PHP was the first really popular back-end language for web development and used to dominate the web but has started slowly losing out to more modern languages. Python is a very popular high-level language with lots of use cases, particularly in the data and AI and machine learning fields. R is the language of choice for data scientists, used for statistical computing and creating data visualizations. Ruby is only really known for its use in the web development framework Ruby on Rails, which has historically been one of the most popular web development frameworks Although like PHP, it is starting to lose out a little bit to some other languages. Rust is designed as a more modern approach to systems development, intended to improve on pain points of C and C++. Similar to Kotlin, Scala was designed to be a Java 2.0, and is a modern language that offers a ton of freedom and the ability to be used for almost anything. Solidity is a Web 3.0 language used for developing smart contracts on blockchain platforms, most notably Ethereum. SQL is a primary language used to work with data in relational databases. Developed by Apple, Swift is the primary language for developing native applications on any Apple product. TypeScript is JavaScript but with types, as well as a whole lot of other things that I'm too lazy to explain in one sentence. And the final programming language on the list... Okay, you get the point. XML is similar to HTML in that it's a markup language, but while HTML is meant to be used for web page structure, XML is primarily used to describe data.